are the world of child development and its impact on mental health in adulthood. Buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the psychology of neglect and emotional abuse and how they can affect people and society. All right, let's start with child development. You see, during those precious early years, children are like sponges soaking up everything around them. The experiences they have, the relationships they form and the environment they grow up in all play a crucial role in shaping their mental health later in life. It's like building the foundation of a house. If it's sturdy, the house will stand strong, but if it's shaky, well, things can get a bit wobbly. Now, neglect and emotional abuse are two aspects that can have a significant impact on a child's development. Neglect refers to the failure of caregivers to meet a child's basic needs, like providing food, clothing, shelter, and emotional support. It's like a plant without water. It withers and struggles to thrive. Take the example of little Talid. His parents are always too busy with work and rarely give him the attention and care he needs. They forget to pack his lunch, leave him alone for long hours and rarely show any affection. As a result, Talid grows up feeling neglected, unloved and unworthy. This can lead to a whole host of mental health issues like low self-esteem, anxiety and even depression. Now let's talk about emotional abuse, the invisible wounds that can leave deep scars. Emotional abuse involves constant criticism, humiliation and belittlement. It's like a constant rain of negativity, eroding a child's sense of self-worth. Imagine little Sia, who has a parent constantly berating her, calling her names and never showing any appreciation. Sia grows up believing she is worthless and this negative self-image can haunt her well into adulthood. She may struggle with feelings of inadequacy, have difficulty forming healthy relationships and even develop conditions like borderline personality disorder. Now how does all of this affect people in society you ask? Well my friend it's like a domino effect. When individuals experience neglect and emotional abuse during childhood their mental health can suffer greatly and when mental health suffers it can impact every aspect of their lives, their relationships, their work, and even their ability to function in society. For example, someone who grew up feeling neglected and unloved may struggle to form healthy, trusting relationships. They may have difficulty expressing emotions and find it hard to trust others. This can create a ripple effect, impacting their friendships, romantic relationships, and even their ability to be successful in their careers. Ah, the long-term effects of neglect and emotional abuse. Let's delve into those, shall we? Let's explore the lasting impact these experiences can have on individuals and society as a whole. When it comes to individuals, neglect and emotional abuse can leave some pretty deep scars. Let's start with the emotional realm. Individuals who have experienced neglect and emotional abuse during childhood may struggle with low self-esteem, a negative self-image and a constant fear of rejection. They may find it difficult to trust others, express their emotions or form healthy relationships. Imagine someone who grew up feeling constantly criticised, belittled and unloved. They may carry these negative beliefs about themselves well into adulthood, leading to issues like anxiety, depression and even suicidal thoughts. They may also develop maladaptive coping mechanisms such as substance abuse to numb the pain they carry within. But the effects don't stop there, my friend. Neglect and emotional abuse can also impact an individual's social and cognitive development. They may struggle with social skills, have difficulty regulating their emotions and experience challenges in their academic or professional pursuits. These difficulties can hinder their ability to thrive and reach their full potential. Now let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture, the impact on society. When a significant number of individuals carry the wounds of neglect and emotional abuse, it can have far-reaching consequences. Here are a few examples. 1. Increased healthcare costs. Individuals who have experienced neglect and emotional abuse may be more prone to physical and mental health issues. This can lead to increased healthcare utilisation and costs, placing a burden on healthcare systems and society as a whole. 2. Interpersonal difficulties. 
the lasting effects of neglect and emotional abuse can make it challenging for individuals to form and maintain healthy relationships. This can lead to conflict, isolation, and even cycles of violence within families and communities. Three, educational and economic disparities. The cognitive and emotional challenges resulting from neglect and emotional abuse can impact an individual's educational attainment and career prospects. This can contribute to socioeconomic disparities, perpetuating cycles of poverty and inequality. 4. Impact on parenting Individuals who have experienced neglect and emotional abuse may struggle with parenting their own children. Without proper support and intervention, the cycle of neglect and abuse can continue across generations, further perpetuating the negative impact on individuals and society. The long-term effects of neglect and emotional abuse are far-reaching. They can impact an individual's emotional well-being, social and cognitive development, and even have broader implications for society. Now zoom out a bit and think about society as a whole. When a significant number of individuals are dealing with the long-term effects of neglect and emotional abuse, it can have a profound impact on society. It can lead to higher rates of mental health disorders, increased healthcare costs, and even contribute to cycles of poverty and violence. So the psychology of child development, neglect and emotional abuse is not just an academic topic, it has real-life implications for individuals and society. It's a reminder of the importance of providing children with love, care and support so they can grow into resilient and mentally healthy adults.